The other day the news broke that Swansea cult hero and the pinnacle of a one season wonder, Michu had decided to retire. Shockingly, he was only 31 when he hung up his boots, though to be fair it has seemed like a very, very long time since he has done anything of worth. It was back in the 2012-2013 season that he took the Premier League by storm, netting 18 times more than Berbatov, Lukaku and Lampard. However, the following season was a complete bust for him and he never really recovered. And that's got us thinking on who are the other great one season wonders in the Premier League. So here are 9 one season wonders. 1. Marcus Stewart An absolute champ man, a 102 legend, Stewart was outstanding in the 2000-2001 season for Ipswich. He banged in 19 goals for the Tractor Boys, but sadly that was it for him, he only managed to score 8 more times in his entire Ipswich career before moving to Sunderland. His final season with the Black Cats was a pretty decent one, but he never managed to replicate the form that he showed in that first season with Ipswich. Number 2 Andy Johnson In the 03-04 season, Johnson was on fire in the Championship, scoring 27 times. And then he followed that up in the Premier League, scoring a whopping 21 goals, which is not bad at all. Granted, 11 of those were penalties, but they all count. In fact, he finished only second to Thierry Henry in the Premier League top scoring charts. However, Palace were relegated, and the next time he was in the Premier League, he only scored 11 times, and that was his highest goal tally in the following 8 seasons after that. Number 3, Benjani. The Zimbabwean hitman somehow managed to get himself a move to Man City, though that was before they got the Mega Millions. After two pretty naff seasons with Portsmouth, it was his third season that got him the move to the Etihad after he netted 12 times from just 23 games. Apparently the move was worth around 8 million, which is just insanity, and especially when you consider that he scored just 4 goals from 23 games across 3 seasons. Number 4, Mikel Fossell. Chelsea always seemed like they were looking for Fossell to do something amazing and earn his place in the first team. And maybe he could have had that if it wasn't for all of that lovely Russian money that brought in the likes of Hernan Crespo and Adrian Mutu. Anyway, he got sent on loan to Birmingham where he scored 19 times from 37 games, which was pretty decent. However, after that, it took him over three seasons to score 13 goals in the Premier League and things just didn't work out for the Finnish striker. Number 5, Carlo Cudicini. Cudicini never really stopped being a decent keeper, but his career never reached the same height as it did in the 2002-2003 season. He only conceded 35 goals, won the Premier League Golden Glove Award and kept 12 clean sheets. Unfortunately for the Italian, he got injured not shortly after that and then was dropped once Petr Cech had arrived at the bridge and he never got his first team spot back. Number 6, Amir Zaki. A one season wonder may be a bit kind to Zaki because, well, he was more of a half season wonder. After moving to Wigan and being dubbed the Egyptian Alan Shearer by Dave Whelan, he started the season in amazing form. At one point, he had five goals from six games and was behind only Anelka and Rabinho in the scoring charts. However, after he went to the African Cup of Nations, Zaki came back really, really late and was called the most unprofessional player that Steve Bruce had ever seen. Zaki saw out the rest of his loan with Wigan, but was sent packing after the season had finished. And then after that, he scored twice in five years for seven different clubs before retiring. Number 7, Issa Del Horno. Secretly, Del Horno was actually a terrible left back, but he somehow got an £8 million move to Chelsea and was one of their most used players during their second Premier League title win. However, in between all the trophies and almost killing Lionel Messi, Jose Mourinho realised that Del Horno was actually pretty crap, so moved him on after just one season. Number 8, Dimitri Payet. Attitude was seemingly the problem with Payet during his time at West Ham. However, in his first season, he was incredible and a true free kick master. He scored 9 times, picked up 11 assists and created over 110 chances for his West Ham teammates. However, after the Euros, Payet had had enough and hated doing defensive work. He then went back to West Ham, scored just twice, though picked up 6 assists, but was nowhere near as good as he was the season before. He seemingly kicked up a right old fuss to get himself a move away from West Ham so he could go somewhere and just dribble the ball around and not really do anything else but that. And number 9, Habibay. The absolute definition of a one season wonder here. 
He was outstanding for the Magpies in his first season, helping them finish in 12th place. In fact, he was so good that he was named the fans player of the season and became a bit of a cult hero. Fast forward 12 months, Newcastle had been relegated, Bay had had a stinker of a season and had to join Aston Villa, basically as punishment because that's how bad he was. And he never really recovered from that excellent debut season at Newcastle, so God only really knows what he's up to these days. And that's our list, who do you think will be the next one season wonder? Let us know in the comments and be sure to hit that notification button to join the Footy Feed squad. Like this video if you liked it and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.